and welcome to Laurie Fay Art. Another pet portrait commission today but before we get started on that I just wanted to talk about reference photos and what they are and how we use them and some pointers about how to get the best out of your reference photos. This reference photo as you can see is quite an old photo it's actually a photo from way before phones took photos so it was a real snapshot that had been developed and of obviously it's quite an old photo it's very grainy the pose of the dog wasn't what I would say ultimately a good pose but we only had the one photo to work with so that brings me to some points where I would normally use a lot of references this is just a few ideas and a few tips on what to look for and if you are doing commission pieces especially on animals these are three tips that I have to readily give you so the first one is to get lots of references lots of different photos different poses different views you can pretty much figure out what the dog looks like and what their ears are shaped like, their eyes, the colour of their fur, is it curly, is it long, those kind of things. If you just have one photo, just a static photo, it's very hard to know what these things are if you can't see the actual dog. The other thing is, and this one sort of goes hand in hand, is make sure that the references are of good lighting, not overexposed or in the sun or with the dog's artificial light on them or if it's in a dark room. A lot of people take photos standing up over their dog and their dog sitting down with its neck sort of up looking at them as if you're going to feed the dog a treat. This makes it really hard. So if you're taking photos yourself for reference photos try and get on the dog's level so that the dog hasn't got its head cocked at a weird angle or it's not sort of mangulated I guess the good lighting will help you pick up the colors and the shapes and you might have shadows which is what this photo that I used for this particular piece had it had a lot of shadows and I did find it quite difficult but you know got to work with what you've got number two is to get to know the animal so go to their IG or their Facebook have a look at some videos get to know what the dog looks like, ask what the name of the dog was, anything about the dog, get some progressive photos of the dog being younger, older or whatever and just speak to the client about what they would like. Do they want the dog sitting? Do they want the dog standing up? What sort of pose do they want? This ultimately is their art. This is commission work. This is what we do. We're commissioned to do a piece that they are happy with. So you want to produce work that they're going to hang on their wall and be like, yeah, that was a good memory. The dog ultimately needs to look like their pet, right? Or the cat sorry cat people I do cats as well for number three think about the particular pose and if it doesn't show the animal for example the eyes could be shadowed I did have one recently that I did that the eyes were in shadow and you couldn't see the eyes very well I picked pieces of other photos of the animal and just used that as a reference to put the eyes in and this is a really good idea if it's a really good pose perhaps and the ear one of the ears is being cut off use another picture to see what that ear looks like ultimately it's going to be the same shape as the one on the left or whichever one's missing but it may have different colouring or it may sit different. Some dogs have ears that stick up and some dogs have one that sticks up and one that flops down. Cats tend to have different coloured ears. So have a really good look at these points. Don't be afraid to adjust the perspective. So you're not changing the whole animal. You're just changing a few things, taking some things from one photo and painting those in rather than having the eyes hidden. There might be a shadow in the wrong place in one of the photos and you think, no, I don't really like that shadow there. It doesn't make any sense. And you can use these other photos to fill in those blanks. I hope that that's given you some insight into how references in commissions, they're basically the three tips that I use. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you enjoy the video. I will talk to you in the comments below. Have an amazing day.